we're going to a wedding and not just any wedding we're going to my first ever wedding and we're going to see some friends of mine that i haven't seen in years the girl is getting married her name is jess we went to college together i went to college for one year she of course completed college but We've kept in touch over the years and I'm really excited to see her and some of our other friends as well who will be attending. I'm excited for this vlog in general. Hi, can I get a grande pumpkin spice iced latte with oat milk and light ice and no whip? Thank you. Hi, how are you doing? Perfect. Thank you. Okay, pumpkin spice latte is secured, friends. We gotta go to Target and or Ross because I need to get a dress belt and dress socks. So that is the occasion today. Thanks for coming with. Thanks for being a part of this journey. Let's go. All right, Macy's is done. It's a three-story Macy's. It was a struggle at first, I'll be honest with you. I spent $38. The belt was half off, thankfully, because this belt is like $43 normally, and it's just, like, it's just a belt. And all of the belts in Macy's are just kind of like thrown around everywhere. They have like thousands of belts, I swear to you, but they're just kind of like all over the place. And then I got one pair of socks. I couldn't find them individually anywhere else. They were in like three pairs or five pairs, and I don't need that many. And it was all like multicolored, and I just want like a dark brown pair. So I got these. They did cost $14 because, you know, hello, Ralph Lauren, you're paying for the brand. But that's that. We finally got that taken care of. Thankfully, the coffee is hitting. I'm just like in a weird, irritated, annoyed mood today. I'm not sure what that's about, but I'm going to try to find something to eat. I'm just like not hungry, but I know I need to eat lunch. I just can't figure out what it is that I want to eat. And I did not want to go into the mall deeper and go to the food court because that mall is massive. I've never been to Capriati's. I've like door dashed for Capriati's, but I've never had Capriati subs. And I kept seeing this one that has like the cranberry sauce, turkey stuffing. It's like a Thanksgiving like feast in a sub. So I got an eight inch sub. We're gonna try that for the first time. It's like their number one most liked item on their door dash website. So let's hope it's good. Let's go get those things. All right, cheers, it's a cold sub. I don't know why I was expecting it to be warm. I'm like fine with it being a cold sub, but we have some stuffing, some cranberry sauce, some turkey, so let's go. That's really yummy. You're getting like the turkey flavor and then you get some sweetness from the cranberry and then you have like the savoriness from the stuffing. Really good. I would give this an eight out of 10. I think it also has mayo on it too. Let's try the cookie now. I only got one. It's the Dolce de Leche one because it's like a cinnamon cookie and I've had their cinnamon cookies before. Loved them. This is what she's looking like, scrumptious. So it's a spiced cinnamon cookie with caramel Dolce de Leche frosting dollop on top. Let's see, I'm just gonna take a bite. Instantly you get that like cinnamon flavor. It kind of tastes like cinnamon Teddy Graham, you know, like little golden bears, little cinnamon bears. So good. Oh my God. I don't really like caramel, but there's not a lot of caramel on here. It's like just enough. Oh, this frosting on top, 10 out of 10. So good. I would give this cookie a nine out of 10. Nine out of 10. It's really good. My only complaint is that it's a little hard and I like my cookies like fluffier, but it's a cinnamon cookie, so what do you expect? It's still good, it's still good. Buffalo. It's a cool 
50 degrees. I can't handle 50 degree weather anymore. Like, what is wrong with me? But I'm just waiting on my Uber right now. And then we're going to the hotel, and then we're gonna get ready for the wedding. Guys, listen. Chelsea just made this bomb ass <laughs> waffle. And it's a mystery flavor. It just said today's flavor. We don't know what it is. Yeah, it's just a today's flavor. It's a mystery flavor. I put chocolate chips on it. Syrup. Is it syrup or syrup? Syrup? But I said syrup for some reason. I'm fancy. Anyway, syrup, chocolate chips, this waffle, bus. All right, I feel like you have to give a hotel room tour every time that you stay in a hotel. Otherwise you didn't stay in the hotel. This is what it looks like when you open the door. On your left, we have a bathroom. She's giving basic, but she's giving. We're staying at the Comfort Inn. A little mirror here to check yourself out. Period, the cities. And then we have the bed. This one's mine, hasn't been touched. With a little chair over there. And then this one is Chelsea's. She stayed here last night. And then the little desk lamp that's our beautiful view you know what it actually is kind of beautiful and the trees are like orange and red here which is not something we have in la and i'm screaming love fall all right it's about noon i just woke up from about a two hour nap i don't really know where i am who i am what my name is what my first language is all of that currently we're walking to starbucks so i can get a quick little pick me up and some water as well and then we're gonna head back to the hotel and start getting ready and the leaves are just still so pretty do you see the scenery i am living for it <laughs> Coffee is secured. We can officially start this day. Okay, shower is complete. I did some shaving as well, and now I have on this face mask so that my face can hydrate and be really plump and juicy before I put this makeup on. It's this Yes to Watermelon. Next time you see me, I will be fully dressed, fully beat, Period. I don't have time to show you guys the process. I'm running a little bit late and I just need to be able to sit with myself and get this makeup look done. And the makeup's done and the fit is on. Look it. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? We just did a simple basic glam because I didn't want to do like a whole eye look. I just want to feel cute, look cute. And this is going to last a while. I did all of my necessary steps to make sure that this does last a long time. So it's going to be cute. I'm going to look good for the whole day. And this is what it looks like without the jacket. Okay, here it is with the shoes. Okay, so I have a few minutes before I have to order my Uber. So I thought that I would tell you guys some of these like fun, awkward, embarrassing moments that I've been having over the past couple of days. We have our venti ice water and we have the rest of our pumpkin spice latte. It all started the other day when I went to Macy's to get a dress belt and to get dress socks. I was just wearing this like purple blue jacket that kind of gives like 90s vibes. And this guy was like, yo, that jacket is fire. And I was like, thanks. And then I realized he wasn't talking to me. So I was like, oh shit, you weren't talking to me. And he was like, no, your jacket's cool too. I meant to tell you that when I first saw it, it's giving 90s vibes. And I was like, thank you, sir, for making me feel better. But I know that you weren't complimenting me. It's cool. Uh, next one was the Uber situation. It was just weird. I was like, hi, how are you? And he didn't say anything. And I was like, thank you so much for doing this. And then he just didn't say anything. And I was like, okay. And then when I went to the airport, they were all a little rude to me at JetBlue, if I'm gonna be honest. Like, they were just kind of rude and I didn't know exactly what I was doing because it's different than when I normally fly Allegiant. I had to like print out my boarding pass and I had to print out my bag tag and then put the bag tag on myself, which is easy, but like for me, it wasn't easy. And so the girl who was like checking my bag was like, you need to put the tag on it. And I was like, okay, sorry, can you help me? And she's like, the arrows, follow the arrows. And I was like, 
okay, sorry, I'll follow the arrows. Yeah, I got it, got it, got it. And she was just like not happy. And then everybody I kept trying to talk to who was like an airport employee was just like not in a good mood, very short. And I mean, I get it because LAX is hecka busy. So there's, they're dealing with thousands of people on a regular basis, I get it. But like, you could have been nice to me. I was trying to be nice. <laughs> just awkward moments. There's more too, let me check my notes. I literally took notes because it's just been like one weird moment after the next and so I was like I need to document this and I need to tell the vlog I don't know what's going on I'm just rolling with the punches and going with it I also almost walked into some guy's fishing rods at the beach yesterday because I was just trying to like walk towards the water and I wasn't paying any attention that this guy had his rods just like sitting and they were like in the water and so I'm going to try to walk in front of them and the guy was like, hey, 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 hold up. Like there's fishing lines right there. And I was like, oh shit, sorry. Thank you for telling me because I would have walked right into it. So that was fun. And then later on that day, I happened to be going for a walk. And as I opened up the gate, the Amazon delivery guy was like at the gate too. And he couldn't get in. So it was perfect timing that I was leaving and he was coming in. So I was like, bet, I'll hold the door open for him. And he had this like cart of all these packages and I'm holding the door open for him. And he goes to push it in and just spills all the packages. And like a couple of them hit me. And I was like, no big deal. Like, I was just like, it's cool. I'm holding the door open for you, man. Like, it's not a big deal. And he was so embarrassed. He was like, this is embarrassing. You can hit me if you want to. I was like, I'm not gonna hit you. It's not that big of a deal. Just like pick up your boxes, pick up your packages and go. I even helped him pick a couple up. Like it wasn't that big of a deal, but it was just another weird, awkward moment. And then I'm going through security yesterday and my little backpack, which is like my personal item, gets pulled off the belt. I literally had like three or four things in that backpack. I just bought the backpack in case I wanted to buy extra clothes or buy extra things while I'm here. So that way it all fits with me and I don't have to worry about like leaving things behind or overstuffing the suitcase. You know what I'm saying? So he pulls the bag off and like waits for me to check it. And I was like, bro, you can check it. Like it's fine. Coconut water. That's what I had in my bag. And he was like, you can't take this. It was like this box of coconut water that I didn't even know I had it on me. I, like, I really didn't know that it was in the backpack because it was in one of my side pockets that I didn't check. He was like, you can't take this coconut water with you. And I was like, that's fine. I didn't know it was with me. Like, you can throw it away. And I was like, what a weird thing to pull someone off the belt for. Like, what a weird situation. And then the last weird situation that I can really think of right now is my Uber on the way from Buffalo Airport to my hotel currently. He was running like an Uber dispensary and also like a family cleaning business. Like you, you could see all the prices for like how much an eighth is, how much an edible is on like the back of the seat. And then he also has like a carpet cleaning business and then like a room cleaning business and like vacuuming. And it's like one room, two room all of it and i was like okay man's is like the king of side hustles love this for him he was really chill too but it was just like such an interesting thing to see but yeah those are all the awkward moments if anything else comes up throughout this trip i'll let you know all these awkward moments have been in like the most recent 48 hours like this has been like one weird moment after the next and i'm just really trying to go with it because i've been stressed and anxious and i'm just like there's no point in being stressed and anxious i'm going to let whatever happens happen yeah it's just weird let me know. What do you think about those? Are they weird? Are they embarrassing? Or am I just being dramatic? Because that's possible too. You never know with me. I now present as husband and wife, Jacob and Jessica French.
congratulations to Jess. I didn't end up vlogging a lot last night after the wedding because I wanted it to be like a little private setting and it was the most fun I've had in such a long time and I'm so glad that we made this trip. We're going to see Lucky, my friend who lives in Rochester. If you aren't following Lucky on social media, you should be. Lucky is also a tarot reader, psychic, beautiful human being. She posts on TikTok, Instagram. Check her out. I'll leave her information in the description box. But we got our rental car. She's beautiful, matches the jacket and we're on our way to Rochester. So let's go.